All right. I just wanted a quick clip, a knowledge sure. bomb from Dr. Jason Silvernail. What is your hot take on whether imaging should be used or shouldn't be used in physical therapy? Have we demonized it or, or what? Yeah. Well, um, uh, first of all, I think it's really important if we're going to be first contact providers, which I think all of us need to be as DPTs. Uh, I'm super excited about the potential for real-time ultrasound because I think that's an imaging modality that aligns with our practice very well. I would say in general, especially some of the advanced imaging modalities we have now, such as MRI and CT, they can provide a very detailed assessment of the health of the tissues that does not reliably translate to how people feel. And so we have a situation in which most of our patients are getting too much imaging and imaging that is not going to help them manage their condition. And it's not gonna help the healthcare providers involved in their care providing good care. So that's one problem, that's an overuse. And there are some people in physical therapy who say that we have gone too far in the in criticizing imaging and that there are a lot of patients who need imaging that don't get it. And I think they're right also. I think that there's a small number of people who don't get the right imaging at the right time to get a good differential diagnosis for their problem. I can certainly think of examples of that in my own pro in my own uh, practice, and I bet others have as well. So I think it's okay for us to admit that oh, while many patients get too much imaging, a small number don't get enough, and we should be working on both problems. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, one of the interesting takes I heard from Lance Mabry was that, you know, all the pain science type research basically shows that it's all nocebo, but that's only because the people who are explaining it are full of nocebic messages. He said that absolutely, you know, imaging is just imaging and it all depends on how, how it's, how it's explained. So yeah. if yeah. someone like you or I or Lance saw the, saw the image and said, Hey, you know what, this is no problem. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, this is, this is totally common. It's, it all of a sudden be, could potentially become placebo and not nocebo. Yeah, yeah. I think Lance has got some great points. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for that quick take. You bet.